The song, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, was written in 1758 by Robert Robinson and has had a bit of a resurgence here at Lost River in recent years. One of my favorite lines in this hymn is the third verse, which says, O oh, to grace, how great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, O oh, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. These lyrics express the tension that we feel between the drawing power of God's grace and our proneness to wander away. So he asks what every Christian would ask on his best days, for God's goodness to bind him like a fetter. Now a fetter is an ankle chain that's used to prevent captives from running away. Now he's not asking to be put on a chain and artificially restrained against his will but for God's goodness to so overwhelm him that he is voluntarily held captive by God's grace. It's been my experience that when I give attention to the reading of scripture, to prayer, to fasting, worship, and fellowship with other Christians, that I'm fettered to God's goodness and my heart is enthralled by his grace. That's why I worry about people who neglect these habits, who assume that full participation in all three segments of our Lord's Day gatherings are not really that important. If you're feeling that your heart, so prone to wander, has been finding God less compelling and the things of this world more alluring, let me ask you if you're giving your full attention to the means of grace available to you. Here are three things I'd like to ask every one of us to do. Number one, on Sunday mornings, arrive on time each Lord's Day with your mind ready to focus and your mouth ready to praise as we begin the day with a focus on communion with Christ and with one another. Number two, attend Bible class where you're going to be able to dig into the scriptures. And I tell you, if you'll give yourself to that over time, through the years, your knowledge and appreciation of who God is and what he has done will grow. And then number three, remain for the prayer, praise, and preaching service, where the truth of God's word is applied to the situations that we face in our lives today. Each of these three segments has a particular spiritual need that it was designed to meet. And so our hearts that are so prone to wander and the possibility of leaving the God I once loved is real if I neglect the means by which God's grace is mediated to me. Please, don't let that happen to you or to your children. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you this Sunday.